J Drone here. This is the X3 from SEMA. And uh, I've flown this once. I've had it for quite some time. They want you to charge the battery while it's inside the body. I really don't like that. I have a couple that are like that. And I don't fly them often because of that. I have plenty of batteries. So let's see what's going on in here. Just uh, pinch this and pull up from the back. There's the battery. It's a pretty skinny battery. I don't even remember the flight time. It's been so long since I've flown this. But uh, we're going to get that battery out of there. Because, again, I'm not a fan of unit charging quadcopters. I don't fly them that often because of it. I have tons of batteries. I like to switch out batteries. I like to flight after flight after flight. Or pick and choose what I'm going to fly and not have to... Oh, I only have one battery for this. It's dead. Now i got to wait. No, I don't want to do that. So we're going to cut the tape that they have on this. That's all they have holding this is tape. It's in a little bracket. And... Uh, they tape this really good. <laughs> You're going to want to go ahead and probably push on the back of this battery. Let's see. This is the first time I'm doing this, so this is all experimental live. Well, kind of live. And you're watching it after it's been filmed. Yeah, just push on the back of that. It'll pop out. And what we're going to do here, you're going to take the connection port from the battery, and you're just going to push it in there. Push it back in the body. And there are 350 mAh stock battery is out. Cool. Um, another thing about this I didn't like were these guards. They're held in by clips. You don't have to break anything, pull up on them. And why won't that come off? Okay, there's black pieces that extend over to the propellers. Let's see. They're held on by clips too, and that's not going to unclip like that. You're going to have to hold the entire assembly, and there, unclip it. So with the upside down, hold the assembly and press down, and it'll pop off. They're on there pretty snugly. But uh, yeah, the first time I flew this, it seemed like it flew kind of floppy. I don't know if that makes sense. Um... I don't really care for the flight. So we're going to take some of this off and see if we can free it up and see if we can get it flying like a regular quadcopter where it's not floppy. I don't even know how to explain that. I guess like a piece of paper blowing in the wind, I guess, um, where if the wind got up and underneath it, it really took it. And there you go. And we're going to go ahead and speed things up. You can see those black things are still connected. Uh, you could connect this back to this very easily. I did the other side to save on a little bit of time, and it's completely free now. I don't like these propellers. I've tried them on the Tarantula 1505, and it didn't perform well. So I'd like to put these on, and I'm not going to be able to. And these are the smallest straight blade propellers I have, so I guess I'm stuck with these uh, tri-blade propellers. But here's the battery that I'm going to use. It is a 650 mAh. All we're going to do is put some scotch tape on it. And what you don't want to do is cover up that port where you're going to plug in the battery. Like I just did. It's halfway covered. <laughs> um, you're going to need to untape that. Which is very simple. Scotch tape comes off of plastic very easily. The battery's covered in plastic. The quadcopter's plastic. So we're just going to pull that off. We're going to reuse the same piece of tape. Make sure the battery is pretty much centered in the quadcopter. Uh, it's better for the gyro. That way it's not leaning one way or another. And we're just going to inch this down the battery just a little bit. Make sure that hole where the battery is going to plug into the body is open and is non-obstructive. And it's not obstructed. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab another piece of tape that I already have cut and stuck to the edge of the table. Again, just trying to conserve some time for you uh, with these steps. You don't need to see me ripping tape off of a uh, scotch tape roll. I'm sure you know how to do that. And right there, that's probably pretty secure. Let's see. A little shake, it's not going nowhere. A little shake, gravity's not taking anywhere. And I have one more piece of tape uh, ripped off, so for good measure, we're just going to put it on the center of the body, going left to right, and we're going to just put it on the body. 
and that'll give it a little bit more support. Unless I crash this or extreme humidity outside or it gets wet, the battery should stay on this quadcopter. There shouldn't be any issues with that. Okay, you want to put the shell back on, you want to put, not the back, well let's go with the front. Put the front on first, and then there's a little clip by this tail that you're going to need to put on. So push down and then try to pull the clip over. Easier said than done. But once it clips, it should be good. I'm J Drone. We're going to take this for a test flight, see what type of time we get, see how it flies. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, have a great day.